Okay, number 18. The individual price per person is 70 pesos. When the number of people is more than 40 in a group, the price will decrease by 1 pesos. How many people are needed to maximize the revenue? Actually, the correct question here is how many people needed to be added uh, more than the 40 in a group? Ano yung dadagdag natin sa 40 ka people para ma-maximize yung revenue? Dapat ganun yung tanong, no? Kasi sa choices yan yung lalabas. So, again, how many people are needed to maximize the revenue? It is a maximum minimum problem. You want to maximize the revenue. Gusto natin i-maximize revenue, gawin, uh, gawin natin yung formula ni revenue. Gawa ka ng equation. Take note, revenue is equal to the price times the number of units. In this case, yung unit natin is number of person. Then define the price. What is the price? The price here is 70 per person. Okay? The price here is 70 per person. But take note, the price will decrease by 1 pesos in each additional sa 40 katao. So, minus decrease by 1 and every person added. X is the number of person added. Okay? And the number of person, the total number of person here, must be equal to 40 in a group, then plus the additional person, yung X. No? Habang lumalaki yung number of people, number of person, lumiliit naman yung price natin. So, pag i-substitute natin yan dito, yung R equal to 70 minus X, this one, times number of person, 40 plus X. Okay, we want to maximize the revenue. Differentiate with respect to the other variable. So, dr over dx. So, set that one as u. Ito naman yung v. So, u dv. u is 70 minus x. Alright, dv derivative of 40 plus x. Derivative of 40 is 0. Derivative of x is 1. Plus v du. So, v, 40 plus x. du derivative of that. Derivative of 70 which is constant, constant is 0. Derivative of negative x is negative 1. Then again, set the slope equals to 0. Concept of maxima minima. Makukuha natin dito. This is not a quadratic equation. Walang naka-square na variable. So x is equal to 15. Additional. Uh, supposed to be the question must be the uh, additional people needed to maximize the revenue. Kasi pag sinabi natin how many people are needed, that must be 40 plus the additional one. Pero walang lumabas sa choices. Na kaya yung sagot dito is 15, yung additional lang. For me, the answer must be 40 plus 15. That's uh, 65. Ano, 55 dapat. Na? But again, wala sa choices. 15 is the correct answer. Okay? Number 19. A boat is being pulled toward a dock by a rope attached to its bow. Through a pulley and a deck 7 feet above the bow. If the rope is held in a rate at a rate of 4 feet per second, how fast is the boat approaching the dock when 25 feet of rope is out? You need to interpret na walang figure dito. Alis ito yung boat natin, then ito yung bow natin. A boat is pulled toward a duck. Ah, ito pala yung duck, sorry. Ipupu, uh, ipupull siya towards the duck. By a rope attached to its bow. Okay? So, let's say ito yung ating bow. Attached to its bow through a pulley. Merong pulley on a duck 7 feet above the bow. 7 feet above the bow. Balik ganito yung magiging scenario dyan. So, ipupull siya at a rate of 4 feet per second. Okay? Then, kung i-project natin siya dito, ayan, uh, ito, ito pala yung bow, sorry. Ito yung bow ng ating boat. Okay? The pulley is 7 feet above the bow. We don't have the distance here. Tawagin natin siyang variable x. Ito siya, tawagin natin siyang variable z. So, kung yung movement dito is 4 feet per second, and this is a pulley, 
frictionless pulley, the same movement yan dito, 4 feet per second. This is now a time rates problem, relative rates. Gusto natin makuha, okay, yung hinahanap, how fast is the boat approaching the dock? So, yung movement ng boat towards the dock. That is the dx over dt. Yung hinahanap natin is the dx over dt. dt. So, to do that, manually, create ka ng equation involving x. Wala kang ibang magagawa kundi gamitin yung right triangle yan. Sa right triangle, Pythagorean theorem, z squared equal to x squared plus 7 squared. Okay, uh, techniques sa uh, time rates, pag nagawa mo na yung equation, a differentiate mo both sides of the equation with respect to time. So, derivative of z squared with respect to time, that is 2z, dz over dt. Bakit, bakit merong dz over dt siya? Kasi hindi with respect to z yung pag-derivative natin. Halimbawa, a differentiate natin yan with respect to z. So, mangyari dyan, 2z times dz with respect to z over dz. Magka-cancel siya. Pag ginawa natin with respect to time, that will not cancel. dz over dt tayo. Then, derivative of x squared with respect to, to t pa rin. So, that is 2x dx over dt. Derivative of constant is 0. What is asked here is the dx over dt. Yung movement ng boat towards the dock. So, we can cancel the 2. That means, the dx over dt here, meron pa tayong z dito, that will be z over x at that moment. z over x times dz over dt. Yung dz over dt, yung movement ito. And that is 4 feet per second. So, we just need to calculate for this dimension at that moment. Okay? So, paano kukunin yan? Tating na yung condition. How fast is the boat approaching the dock when 25 feet of rope is out? That means when Z is 25 feet. Ah, dito yung Z. So, paano naman si X? Kukunin natin yung X based sa relation ni Z and X dito. From that, X is equal to square root of Z squared, which is 25 minus 7 squared. So, x is 24 feet. So, substituting z and x dito, and the dz over dt is 4 feet per second, means the dx over dt is equal to z, 25, x is 24, dz over dt, yung effect nito, yung effect na movement sa length, it is shortening, no? Palit ng palit yung z natin. So, that must be negative 4 feet. Yung effect niya is shortening sa length na yan. So, the answer is negative 25 over 6 feet per second. Negative, that means shortening yung value na dimension x. <clears throat> okay, alternate solution. Now, it is by using uh, tawag dito. Unit analysis. If you want to solve for the dx over dt, at tayo yung i-analyze yung unit. Yung meron tayo, kung equate natin yan sa dz over dt, kasi yan yung given dyan sa problem, by unit analysis, ano yung kailangan mong i-multiply dyan para yung output is dx over dt? I-analyze natin. Pag multiplyan ko yan ng dx over dz, the dz will cancel. What will remain here is dx over dt. So, equal na siya dito. Okay? So, some of uh, the student, mo, uh, most of the student malilito dito. Pero, kailangan mo lang i-analyze. Kung given yung dz over dt, ano yung needed mong i-multiply or pwede i-divide dyan para maging dx over dt. I just need to multiply that, that one by dx over dt to cancel this one. So, dz, dx over dt, yung matitira, equal siya. So, yung dz over dt is the 4 feet per second, negative 4 feet per second. What is the dx over dz? So, ito yan. From this equation, 
kailangan natin makagawa ng equation x function of z. Uh, from that, you have x equal to z squared minus 7 squared. So, x function of z. So, itong dx over dz is derivative of x with respect to z. Let the calculator differentiate that one for us. So, dz over dt is negative 4 feet per second. Again, effect niya is a shortening, kaya negative. The dx over dz, let the calculator differentiate this one. So, using the calculator, ito yung input natin. z squared minus 7 squared. A condition when z is 25 feet. That will give us the same result. Negative 25 over 6. Let me have that one in your calculator. In our calculator. So, input natin. Negative 4 times d over dz. By default, sa calculator natin dyan, uh, that is d over dx. By default, variable is dx. We have square root of z squared. Again, by default, yung variable is x minus 7 squared. When z is 25. So, we'll have here uh, 4.167. Negative 4.167. That's equivalent to 25 Six, 4.167. Okay?